Nothing but a classic. Welcome back to another Throwback TV journey. We always could spot a friend. To one of the best, briefest shows of the 70s. Welcome back, Cotter. I'm your host, Nostalgic Nick. And yes, that theme song is already stuck in my head. So let's dive on in and find out all the little reasons that our favorite sweat hogs and inspirational tell it like it is teachers departed a truly gem of a sitcom, which enjoyed four seasons from 1975 to 79. People love this show, and it all starts with Mr. Cotter himself. The coolest, most unconventional teacher ever, am I right? Ready to trot? Yeah. Well, take her out to Yonkers Raceway. <laughs> and Gabe Kaplan created the role perfectly. He was fun, yet calm and in control. After all, someone must keep the sweat hogs in line. That's enough. Come on. Turn those chairs around. Now! <laughs> And who didn't want to be a member of them anyways? Led by Vinny Barbarito, the man with the rubber hose up thy nose. Does anyone remember how the Sweat Hogs got their name? Well, that's because there was no air conditioning on the fourth floor of the high school. And we all know how sweaty high school boys can be. Welcome Back Cotter aired 90 total episodes, chronicling the kids at James Buchanan High, a fictional high school based on the real one that Gabe Kaplan attended. And many of the Sweat Hogs were based on people Gabe knew, as he co-created the sitcom based on a stand-up record that he had, titled Holes and Mellow Rolls. But before we get to the changes this show quickly went through, and tell you why the stars decided to pack up their rubber hoses and beat it, you gotta make sure to hit that thumbs up icon for us, and subscribe to the channel for more nostalgia. But without further ado, we gotta go, I just heard the bell ring. Michael Woodman. John Sylvester White played the uptight vice principal who had zero expectations for the Sweat Hogs. I mean, he wanted Mr. Cotter to basically babysit the students until they dropped out of school. Then, problem solved. Mr. Woodman had been Mr. Cotter's social studies teacher back in the day, and the two didn't always see eye to eye back then and now with Mr. Cotter's different methods of teaching. So he stuck Mr. Cotter with the sweat hogs. You know, the same type of student Mr. Cotter was. And while Woodman stayed with the show the entire run, we nearly never had John Sylvester White in the role. At first, producers wanted Gloria Swanson for the role before it was changed to a male character. Can you imagine this former Sunset Boulevard star getting ready for her close-up with the sweat hogs? All right, Mr. DeMille, I'm ready for my close-up. I'm sure Vinny and his wafty curls would happily jump in a close-up with her anytime. Arnold Horshack. Ron Palillo wonderfully portrayed this character based on someone that Kaplan personally knew. Arnold was the typical class clown with an odd but endearing personality. His laugh sounded kind of like a hyena if you ask me. Very memorable. He was book smart yet naive. Ron partly based his portrayal of Arnold Horshack on Dustin Hoffman's Ratso from 1969's Midnight Cowboy. which was a favorite film of Ron Palillo's aunt. Horshack was eventually promoted out of the remedial class, but he chose to come back and nearly lasted longer than any of the actors. Longer than the show, even. As a backdoor pilot was created that followed Horshack, but it wasn't developed past conception, and the Sweat Hogs never made it out of the 70s, which may have been for the best, because Ron was 26 years old when the show began. So this recent high school graduate was going to be in his 30s if the pilot had worked. I think the pass was appropriate. Sorry, Horshack. Freddy Boom Boom Washington. Hi there. <laughs> Lawrence Hilton Jacobs played Freddy Boom Boom Washington, the athletic member of the school's basketball team. Do you remember the episode where Mr. Cotter nearly beat him one-on-one? -on -one? If I win, you take the makeup test. And if I win, you pass me. Cementing him as the coolest teacher ever. He was a member of the James Buchanan High basketball team once, so he and Freddy got along well. But we nearly lost Boom Boom during filming of season three, as he landed a part in the anticipated miniseries Roots, playing the role of Noah for part five. 
and this incredible series is a tough watch. Especially Lawrence's episode as he tries to escape slavery only to be captured and tortured. Much darker fare than his boom boom Washington days. Mr. Gabe Cotter. Now Gabe Kaplan was the rock of this show, and it all came from reality based on Kaplan's own high school remedial teacher, who genuinely believed in her students' capabilities. And Kaplan wonderfully portrayed this teacher returning to his alma mater, developing a genuine relationship with his students who trusted him. He saw the potential in students even if they didn't see it themselves. Why did he take such an interest in the Sweat Hogs, you ask? Well, Cotter had been a founding member of them back in the day and the Sweat Hogs in turn loved Mr. Cotter, even sometimes visiting him at home. They'd come up the fire escape to which Mrs. Cotter wasn't always so thrilled. Which I don't blame her, we have a front door for a reason. There's no way I'm going back, there's just no way I'll go back. No one wants you back, Cotter. <laughs> and although Mr. Cotter was in all four seasons of this coming of age tale, there were some hiccups. First, we need to start with Mrs. Cotter herself, played by Marcia Strassman. Marcia stated in a 1978 People magazine article that she did not get along with Gabe Kaplan and disliked working on the show with him, saying Gabe was very temperamental and difficult to work with. She tried to be released from her contract by publicly insulting Gabe, but after he read the interview, he reached out to Strassman, explaining that it was actually a producer who was separately telling both actors lies about the other. Gabe further noted that he wanted more balance between Cotter's work and home environments, which would allow Strassman the chance to do more scenes. See? Open dialogue solves all qualms. But the issues arose once again during that final season. Kaplan made it two episodes before having to walk away because of creative differences with that same producer, James Comack. Gabe's name still appeared in the credits, but he rarely appeared on the show. Kaplan wanted the Sweat Hogs to graduate from school during the 1978 season and enroll in some local junior college, with Kaplan still overseeing them. But those show's producers wanted to keep the formula the exact same, forcing Gabe Kaplan to officially walk away from his own creation. Goodbye, Mr. Cotter. Vinny Barbarino up your nose with a rubber hose. So expertly whined by the hunkiest high schooler in town, Danny Zuko. Shoot, no, no, I mean John Travolta, who really broke into Hollywood as this cocky leader of the Sweat Hogs, with that hair, that grin, and those dance moves. We got Washington, we got Horshack, and we got Epstein. Playing the role of a troubled student may have hit closer to home for Travolta than many realize. His mother didn't want him to take this role of Barbarino, afraid that Hollywood would typecast him. But soon there were bigger, brighter characters that proved John Travolta was never going to be typecasted. I mean, look at that 2019 movie The Fanatic, where he plays a very strange stalker. You can't typecast John. And then he fully displayed his star power as Danny Zuko in 1978's Grease. But the commitment issues arose before he was strutting his stuff as Zuko or watching the hair in Saturday Night Fever. We just washed the hair. As he began to get more attention he could handle after his memorable bully role in the bloody horror flick Carrie in 1976. Fun fact about Cotter, John Travolta's sister Ellen occasionally appeared as Arnold Horshack's mother. But when season four came around, John began to stray. His original five-year contract had to be altered as he began to pursue greater opportunities. He only appeared in 10 of the first 15 episodes before leaving the show entirely. Technically, he was billed as a special guest star for $2,000 an episode. A lot of money, but he was worth it. He had the most profitable film for the entirety of 1978. And now John was thinking big as his influential star power grew. But this now Oscar nominated actor was film focused. His acting career has ebbed and flowed over the decades, but the 68 year old Travolta is still chugging along. His next project pits him against fellow box office badass Bruce Willis in the upcoming film Paradise City. Welcome Back Cotter left a lasting legacy on 1970s television with an integrated and diverse cast. The show was so popular because it targeted the younger teenage audience so well. The Sweat Hogs were relatable, and 1970s kids loved them. 
So who was your personal favorite sweat hog? Did you watch the show for all four seasons? Was there a dip in that final one? Let us know all your Welcome Back Cotter memories in the comments below. We read them all. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to watch our Welcome Back Cotter Then and Now video to find out what happened to the rest of the sweat hogs. And smash that thumbs up icon to show us the love, as well as subscribing for more throwbacks. Remember, your dreams are your ticket out. So keep dreaming, friends. And from all of us here at Do You Remember, we want to thank you for watching.